Good day everybody. We are going to learn about the use of appropriate graphic organizers to show the sequence of events in the text read. Let's begin. A graphic organizers are charts or visuals which are used to represent what we think of. They can help us understand what we read. In sequencing events, we use organizers like storyboard, flowchart, story train, chain of events and sequence chart. Now, let us read a paragraph about the greedy dog and make a graphic organizer to sequence its events. The greedy dog. There was a dog that was very hungry. He searched for food everywhere, and at last he found a bone. The dog picked the bone up with his mouth and started going back home. While crossing a bridge on his way home, the dog saw his reflection in the water. He thought that there was another dog with a bone in the water. He wanted to get that other bone too. So, he opened his mouth to bark at his own reflection. But his bone fell into the water. The greedy dog lost its bone. 1. Who is the main character? Two, what was the dog's problem? Three, where did the story happen? Four, what was the conflict? What did the main character do to solve the problem? Six. How did the story end? Let us retell the story by using a story organizer. The greedy dog. The dog was hungry. The dog found a bone. The dog crossed the bridge. The dog saw another dog with a bone under the bridge. The dog barked at its own reflection. The bone fell, and the greedy dog lost its bone. Do you understand now, how to use a graphic organizer in retelling a story? Good. Let's practice more. Read the paragraph then sequence the events using graphic organizer that follows. Pepito saw an old woman who was having a hard time crossing the street. He approached the old woman and offered help, and the latter gladly accepted the offer. When the two reached the other side of the street, the old woman gave Pepito a big seed. It was her way of thanking him. When Pepito got home, he planted the big seed. The next morning, he found a money tree in the place where he had put the seed. First, Pepito saw an old woman who was having a hard time crossing the street. Next, he approached the old woman and offered help, and the latter gladly accepted the offer. Then, when the two reached the other side of the street, 
The old woman gave Pepito a big seed. Finally Pepito got home and found a money tree in the place where he had put the seed. Read the selection and do the activities that follow. One evening, Redora went to sleep without fixing her school things. While she was sleeping, she was interrupted by some noises. Those were her school things, the bag, books, notebooks, pens, and papers. They all came alive. Her school things were mad at her for not fixing them. Redora asked forgiveness from her school things and promised to take care of them. Suddenly, she opened her eyes realizing everything was just a dream. Did you like the selection? How about making a graphic organizer? Great! Redora went to sleep without fixing her school things. Next, she was interrupted by some noises. Then, her school things came alive and were mad at her for not fixing them. And then, she asked forgiveness and promised to take care of her school things. Finally, she opened her eyes realizing everything was just a dream. I hope you already know and understand the use of appropriate graphic organizers to show the sequence of events. Always remember, graphic organizers are charts or visuals which are used to represent what we think of. They can help us understand what we read. I hope you learned a lot today. Thank you. See you on our next topic. Goodbye.